are the lessons or what what is the advice that you would give to our audience you know specifically those who are beginning to think about implementing document understanding um so i think the one thing that's worked quite well for us is really start small right like with you know there's definitely a whole bunch of problems out there from a um document understanding ocr type um problem statement but for us we really want to first try out and make sure the tool worked as it was supposed to um, rather than trying to go big solve a massive problem and realize okay we we're trying to customize a tool that isn't necessarily fit for purpose so <clears throat> for us it was start small understand the capabilities of the tool and then once we've i guess gone through a successful proof of concept um, then start to look at okay now that we've got the understanding how do we actually expand and grow right how do we how do we go out to other groups and say this is what we proof of concept on these are the capabilities and actually bring people on the journey with us as um, as we start to develop um, the broad understanding through the organization um, you know the other the other aspect as well is <clears throat> try and understand what you're actually trying to automate first because sometimes you know automation is not always the right answer right so for us it was a matter of is there another solution other than automation i ie um, our core technology platforms is that the right home for it or should we stop actually doing this process in the first place right ie going back and challenging um you know, third party brokers and 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 fund managers or clients of ours and say you know why are we getting this um in, in this certain format in the first place can we get it in a standard you know, csv format etc where we don't actually need to use something understanding so being able to have clarity around what the automation is and whether it's the right thing to be automating um it would definitely help um and then Kind of works for what the end-to-end -end process looks like right so once you've actually um, come through with your use case in terms of what you want to do from a document understanding perspective try and look through the organization and then understand how can that actually be scaled so you know um, as an example if you're looking at client instructions there's going to be multitude of teams that will actually use that client instruction although they may not necessarily talk to one another so to really get the best value out of it and to get um, i guess a larger number of stakeholders and senior stakeholders engaged in implementing document understanding or you know this kind of out of the box machine learning for OCR, build up that use case by looking at leverageability and reusability, and particularly as you span across the end-to-end -end operating model. Uh, when it when we look at uh, journeys within financial services, right? I think there are so many journeys where. Uh, either you have to handle unstructured you know data from sources like emails and like i said social media channels and then on the other end there are scenarios where you have to do forecasting and predictions and you know uh, obviously a screening uh, you know adverse media media screening negative news screening so so on and so forth right and again these are all scenarios where certain sort of judgment is required where certain sort of you know decision making or certain sort of you know uh, non rule based activity is required to be performed and that's where i know and uh, i'll share with you few examples uh, and again bucking bucketing it by say you know a segment within within financial services one big area and which i believe was a good success area for us last year was essentially around customer servicing and that is essentially and um, across email as a channel right um, now all of us know uh, with this whole pandemic the virtual channels or the email based channels actually gained a, a lot of prominence and uh, the volumes of emails which banks received actually multiplied right uh, so i think this is one good example where we applied some of our existing out of box machine learning models like a text classification model for understanding intent of the emails right um, uh, product types sub product types right so we did multi level classification as well with many customers uh so that's number one and then obviously after that uh, extracting relevant details from those emails as well right because i think ultimately what we really wanted to do and which i think we did already with uh, you know few customers uh introduce an auto response framework right so if i can introduce an auto is not a rule based response but a response which is based on understanding of that email right uh, so i think that's something uh, we recently implemented uh, for a global bank where we auto responded to almost 10% of the emails received by the bank to start with as a pilot right so that's one huge area uh, customer servicing for us